You know, the Queen's influence has stretched all the way to the Bay Area. And our Sarah Donchi actually visited a well-known tea shop. She's in San Francisco right now. Hey, Sarah, you must be amazed just how many people have their own personal reactions. Yeah, Julia, you mentioned this at the top of the show. This felt very personal for people, something that they will probably for a long time. And a lot of people happen to be at this tea shop today by coincidence shortly after the news broke. Queen Elizabeth is in just about every corner of this Noe Valley tea room, a fitting place for Brits to honor her memory on the day of her passing. Just like shock, you know, that it's happened and it happened so quick. I have you right in the window. Oh, thank you. Danita Murphy heard the news over the phone this morning and opened her shop, Lovejoy's Tea Room in Noe Valley. Yeah, we've got some English music in remembrance, so playing for her, yeah. Danita, who's from Nottingham, has admired the Queen for decades. The Queen, in fact, is a centerpiece of one of their biggest events of the year. On Mother's Day, we actually have a cutout of the Queen and everybody takes their picture with her. They're simple tributes, but these guests honored Her Majesty with tea and biscuits on a warm Thursday afternoon. I've followed the Queen my whole entire life, you know, living it as a kid. I've always thought she was like spectacular and I've been to England a few times and stuff. I actually started crying, <laughs> believe it or not. It was just so sad. I'm leaving for England on Friday, so it's kind of like, what, what kind of timing is that? Friends Jody and Deborah thought it fitting to sip tea while they remembered what they loved most about the monarch. Just I loved her and I loved her life and her story. Um, you know, it's just sad. It's just going to be, and people will be mourning. The tea room and the gift shop across the street have been a neighborhood staple since the early 90s, a gathering place for locals, expats, and fans of English culture. And now, a place watched over by images of a beloved queen. She was resilient. She tried to change with the times, I think, to do her best. She comes from uh, a long line of history. So Deborah, that woman we spoke to in the story, is going to be overseas during a lot of the pomp and circumstance and the ceremonies that will be happening. She says she's not going to participate, but she is looking forward to observing from afar and paying respect to the people over there who are mourning a big loss. Juliet. They certainly are. Sarah, thank you for that story.